This is Twit. And Ryan, you have a news-related app as well. I'm going to try and get logged in. Why don't you start talking about it? Tell us a, a little bit about what you found. Um, so uh, nobody particularly likes looking at ads, but that is uh, the basis of, of the Internet. Most websites you go to are free and supported by ads. Um, and those of us who work at websites, of course, do our best to make sure that you don't get terrible ads. But, you know, sometimes that's out of our control. Uh, you might remember a thing a few years ago called Google Contributor. The idea was that you would have a subscription to that. And the sites that you went to that supported a contributor could remove the ads and they would get paid based on, you know, how often you were going there. Uh, Google did not follow through with that, as it does with many other things. Uh, so Scroll is a new a new app slash company slash website uh, that is aiming to do that. So uh, I think it costs, I think it's like two fifty a month, like $2.50 a month. Um, and it's supported by, uh, you know, a whole bunch of sites. Full disclosure, Android Police is one of the many sites that it supports. So yes, you see, no, no ads. Um, so yeah, once you're logged into this, you can go to uh, any of these supported sites and the ads are just magically gone. So uh, you don't have to look at any of the ads. And you also get this kind of neat, uh, this bar across the bottom that lets you uh, have a story read to you. Um, and I've, I found that it is actually surprisingly, uh, surprisingly pleasing robot voice. Um, but yeah, so it, I mean, it's, it's, uh, there are a lot of sites, like I said, Android Police, uh, also Polygon, Kotaku, uh, AV Club, The Onion, uh, BuzzFeed News, a whole bunch. Um, so, yeah, I don't know if you'll be able to oh, hear yeah. it. Oh, yeah, so let's hear, let's listen to it. The Apple's Chromebook, it's incredibly well built and offers a great Chrome OS experience. Oh, now you can buy it for just $349 from Best Buy, a savings of $200. <laughs> oh, lovely. Nice. Yes, it's not bad. Yeah. Um, and so it, it keeps track of your, your reading history on all of these sites. I um, mean, it's doing that technically so it knows how much to pay, you know, each site that you're that you're going to. But it can also just be a, a handy way to, like, you know, see what you've, you've read and also keeps track of where you were in the article if you're using the reading feature. So you can jump back in later, uh, you know, if you if you didn't finish something. Um, so, yeah, I mean, uh, I, I, I think I think they have uh, some sort of free trial if you if you go to it. Um, but, you know, you, sh you should uh, consider that if you want to support, uh, you know, people who write news on the Internet. Um, I don't get paid anything personally for, for people using this. So, you know, I, I don't have any particular stake in it. I just think it's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's a great idea. And we've seen this this uh, be uh, be tested and, and used uh, by Google and others, like you said, before. So I think uh, any other way to encourage, you know, some of this money going back to the publications, uh, but also giving people like their ad free experience yeah. that people really want. Yeah, I mean, I, re I really wish that we didn't have to show ads to anybody ever, but that is unfortunately the nature of the internet right now. It is. But, you know, mm -hmm. not, if, not if you use something like this, I guess. I, ho I hope that this works and that more sites support it. Yeah, cool. It's called Scroll, and uh, it does have a free trial. I just signed up for it to showcase it for you. And, um, yeah, check it out. It's called Scroll in the Play Store.